Hi everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo with Red Carpet Report and today we're with the cast and crew of Hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie. Guys, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited. How are you guys all feeling right now? Excited? Feeling <laughs> energetic. That's awesome. So, you know, we have a lot of Hey Arnold fans, obviously. Classic cartoon that's so much fun. How did this project come about to kind of revamp it? Well, we were going to put this movie out 15 years ago, and uh, the series got canceled, and that was the end of that. And we, unfortunately, the very last thing we did was we made uh, a kind of a prequel to the Jungle movie called The Journal, the last episode of Hey Arnold, in which, at the end, he finds a map in the back of his dad's journal. And you're sure that he's going to go find his missing parents. But then, uh, 15 years later, he finally, he finally is going to go find his missing parents. So that's the good news. So, what can you tell us, because I know that this is going to solve the mystery of Arnold's parents that everybody's been wondering, what can you tell us about that? Well, he's wanted to go for a long time, obviously, and he's still only, well now he's like 10 or 11, so he's a little bit older than he was when we left him last. He's now at the end of uh, fifth grade, and he enters a contest to uh, win a trip to San Lorenzo, which is the country where his parents happen to disappear. So, not only does Arnold go, but Gerald, Helga, Phoebe, the entire class goes and Mr. Simmons goes. That's awesome. So how did you guys all feel when you guys first found out that this project was going to come out and then you guys were going to be a part of it? Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I found out I was super excited, you know, be a part of something that's uh, a brilliant and something that uh, like people, I don't know, like older people, <laughs> but they, they, they like the show so being a part of it, it was just exciting for me because it's a legacy and just to be a part of something great like that. Yeah, I, I was just super excited to be a part of something that everybody's been waiting to see. Well, that's awesome. See, that's what I was like. I love that you mentioned like the older audience because um, how would you say that this new movie is going to kind of have to be bring in the old fans that grew up with Hey Arnold, but also keep the new, younger audience interested as well? What do you think, Francesca? Well, I, I think that's a tough thing to do, and in general, reboots are really tough, right? Because you have to be able to capture that that magic um, while also making it in some ways feel fresh, feel exciting. And I, and I do think that all throughout the process that this team has really managed to do that um, in a way that, that uh, it, it's felt so good, right? It's been so fun for us to get back into the groove of it. But there's also there's a lot of new and exciting stuff, right? Um, so, so that balance, I think, is going to be really nice. It's going to be uh, rewarding rewarding for the fans who have been waiting, who have been trying to find these answers. The really cool thing, though, is that the, the movie has also done a really good job of introducing those those conflicts or those challenges and making people, allowing the new audience to care about those same issues, right? right. So so from the from the beginning, we sort of lay out, okay, well, this is this is how Helga feels about Arnold, and, and they can get invested, too. Right. Kids that are 6 to 11, which is the actual age group that watches Nickelodeon, so it has to work for them, too. That's and awesome. it does. Yeah, yeah. Well, I see that we have obviously some new characters. We have some of the older characters reprising their roles. How did, how was the balance when you guys were trying to put everything together? Like, we wanted to put everybody in this one. <laughs> we, and you did. <laughs> we, we, we wanted to check every box. We wanted to see how people like Pigeon Man were doing and Stoop Kid were doing, and and characters like that that were really only had one episode. Mm -hmm. So. Basically, everyone that Arnold ever helped is in the first uh, half of the first half hour of the movie, uh, and then uh, then you know we go meet a whole bunch of new people because he goes to the jungle. Yeah. Well, I know that you guys are also answering the theory to the pigeon man of what really happened to him. Is there anything you can tell us about that? Well, you know, I was just really annoyed that there was a, a, a completely wrong fan theory that <laughs> pigeon man just jumped off the building and committed suicide. I thought that was a really <laughs> dumb idea for a kid show. Um, and since I was there when we made the episode, I knew that wasn't what happened. I always pictured him flying to Paris. You know, the pigeons just carried him off to Paris where he uh, is helping pigeons in uh, the square at Notre Dame. So I, I, I wanted to uh, prove that theory wrong so badly that I put him in the movie. You can see him in, in Notre Dame and his pigeons, so he's fine. Are there, he's any, are there any other fan theories that will finally, or fan questions that are finally going to be answered? Well, the, his parents, uh, there's also a weird fan theory that his grandparents are his actual parents, and we'll find out the answer to that one, too. That's awesome. And now for you guys, you know, being a part of this project, did you guys grow up being Arnold fans, or how did it feel kind of like going back to it? Uh, I think when I was growing up, I think it was already canceled, so I didn't really get to see it, but I'm a fan. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I didn't grow up watching it, but um, 
just to um, experience this was uh, really awesome and to go back and watch it was uh, really something. That's super awesome. So why do you guys think that everyone should watch this? Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of different lessons they can learn in, in our friendship, loyalty, things like that. Answers. The good <laughs> answers. <laughs> we all want to know. <laughs> so I want to know personally from each and one of you guys, who is your favorite character in Hey Arnold? We'll start over here. Oh, my favorite is Abner. <laughs> oh man, that was a quick answer. Yeah, no. Well done. Awesome. Oh. Well played. Favorite is Gerald. I feel like we're alike, so you know, I, I like myself, so I would hope that I like Gerald. I think it's got to be Gertie for me. I hope I'm like her. I like it. <laughs> to that age. That's right. I'm kind of into Grandpa. I think he's really cool. I like Arnold. There's a bunch of them. I'm sorry. There's too many for me to name, but in that order, I suppose. It's like picking a favorite child. <laughs> That's right. I mean, Helga is, it, it, it's almost like I have to say Helga, and I can't say Helga, so <laughs> can I just pick all of the taggies from, from the, the writing and the talent? The taggies are an amazing. Yeah, amazing. the taggies are great. That's awesome. I love it. Now, I especially agree with you because all the characters are so good and so different and so relatable in each of their ways. So thank you guys so much. I'm super excited to kind of see this come back to life. So, hey, Arnold, the Jungle movie is out November 24th. Don't miss it. Friday at 7 p.m. Nickelodeon. Cool. Thank you guys. Nice. Thank you. Thanks.